Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important as we get deeper into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who've been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Florida staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 50. Mike 40, Mike 40. Complete. He's got room. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. Washington off the left side. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Washington gains about five yards on the run. They're about four yards away here on second down. Fires out to his receiver. And he's taken down at the 27. Terrell picks him up around seven yards with that catch. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a That makes it second and six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tackle after a decent pickup. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. Kirk, how about that touchdown? I thought the quarterback made a nice read right here. He checked off his receivers and went to the open running back. And 
and he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 68-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Florida lines up for the kickoff. From the eight-yard line, he's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 34-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Pruitt's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. Cavalry's coming. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. to the tight end and knocked away. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Mason to punt. Butler fields it at the 19. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. from their own 35-yard line. It's second down. Florida is up a score. Makes it out to about the 49. That's good for maybe 14 yards. First down. And they push him out around the 44-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. that takes the field on fourth down. And down he goes around the 32-yard line. First down. the stop at the 29. From the 29-yard line, second down. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 
Florida leads 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Florida is up seven. Passes in and it's picked off by the safety. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick. And no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. their own 25-yard line. First down. Throws <laughs> complete and he stopped immediately. That's a team of six on the ground. That'll make the second and four. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Fires a bullet out to the right. Incomplete pass. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. Wants to go long and does. And he got it. To the 10. He gets hit out of bounds at the 8. Tackle at the 12-yard line. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. From the 12-yard line, it's second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. Tackle made at the eight-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires out quickly, incomplete. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 31. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. With the pass incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 31. Florida is up by four. Scrambling around. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. Looks for his running back incomplete. Washington's position to receive on the play. That makes it 
fourth and inning. Pruitt is the deep man awaiting the return. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. it out to about the 37 yard line. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Here we go. Throws in the middle, and he's taken down at the 50. taken down. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Five wide. Quick throw. Alford picks up about four yards with a catch. Kentucky will take their first time out of the half. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he hits him hard at the 26. Use their second timeout. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here we go. Quick strike to the back. No good. Running back makes a solid effort, but there was just no chance for him to make a play on that throw. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. They come out in a five wide set. He's on the run. Coley gains about five yards on the scramble out of the pocket. The Wildcats lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. Kicks away, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Brought down at the 28-yard line.
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Florida with a one-point lead. Nice run, and he's brought down. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball in the 32. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He heaves it deep. This one will fall incomplete. We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. 7-6, Florida. Very close game now as we start the second half. Brooks from the nine. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. There's a strike complete. Brought down around the 41-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He sails it long. And he's tackled right away. two on the carry. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. They go with a screen here and the halfback's got it. And he's tackled at the 12. That makes it third and seven. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kentucky is trying to take the lead here. The kick is up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Sims has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Taken at the five. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Makes it to the 37. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Excellent open field tackle. That's a gain of two on the play. First down.
almost has the INT. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. They get a one-yard loss on that one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 38-yard line, it's third down. Not quickly to the tailback. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. The screen is good for four. Cunningham to punt. And he breaks another. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. Good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. Kentucky holds just a two-point lead. He's scrambling. Brought down in the open field. Down of bounds, right around the 48-yard line. That brings him second and five. Four down, four down. Mike, well, Tiger, Tiger, White, Tiger. Tiger. Slings it, and they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. about the 45. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful of the play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. From the 45 yard line. Second down. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And he's leveled the 33-yard line. Kentucky with a two-point advantage. Here's the eighth play of the series. He scrambled. He's at the 20. There's a fumble picked up by the defense. most impressive is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. 
Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. They'll line up at the 11. It's second down. Hands it off on the delay. Nice gain as he works the right side. Right around the 24-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. From their own 24-yard line. First down. Nice run there. Washington picks up five with the carry. One more quarter of action remaining, and this one has been a real treat. Kentucky leading by two. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Makes the catch for about five yards on the play, and that's good for a first down. It's a good play call. A quick, safe pass to a sure-handed receiver. That keeps the drive alive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. scrambling and they get the sack well, we talked all week with these coaches and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends they thought that they might be able to hold up against him maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside but right now whatever they thought they might be able to do they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick and now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Here's the handoff, and he's brought down right away. You're trailing. Time's a factor. Why not make your offense more of a vertical threat instead of running? Pruitt back deep to return. Looking for the corner. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check this out the penalty. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. So they'll move back after Still that costly down. penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. From their own 27-yard line. First down. Kentucky is up two. And he's taken down at the 39. The 39-yard line. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and two. Mike 12. Mike 12. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down around the 45-yard line. Alford picks him up around seven yards with that catch. They've done a great job on this drive with the underneath pass. The quarterback isn't forcing the ball, and you can see how effective he is. Quick throw. 
And he is drilled at the 41-yard line. That makes it second and six. From the 41-yard line, second down. Seven-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver past the sticks and get him the ball? That was a great throw. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. 180, 180. Up the middle for a nice game. Russell picks up about four yards on the delayed handoff. This is the eighth play of this drive. at the 20 inside the 10 gets out to around the six what a critical first down as time ticks away huge huge first down the defense desperately needed a stop there first down and they've got their eyes on that goal line touchdown kentucky
The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Here's the extra point that'll make it a two-score game. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 71-yard drive. And they put up seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. They're set to go for another round. Just under two minutes in the game. And that one's incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 27. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36-yard line. So they're going to go for it here. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. We have less than a minute to go. Quick throw out to the receiver. Touchdown, Florida! Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. And he converts the extra point. at the 41. Give all the credit in the world to the return unit for coming up with that onside kick. Now all the pressure goes to the defense to make a stand. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. 
It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Takes a knee. Kentucky. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.